herbs for it and all. Yeah, we hurt still. Yeah, we're gonna miss them. But they gone from here. I can see my mama floating around the room. I, that's a lot of ability. You ain't see your mama floating around the room. If she is floating, we need to pray. Show me that in the scripture. Show me that in the scripture. It's not there. Thank you, brother. First Timothy 2, 1 through 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. That means for this to be a long story, but God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. God has not given You need to tell yourself, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. God has not given it. People may give it, but God ain't given it. God has not given me the spirit of fear. But love, power, and a sound, sound means self control, healthy mind. God is giving. God gave it. You can't give it. That's what the old folks say. Just do I have the world didn't give it? And the world, too. We don't sing that stuff no more. We done lost all that. We're so busy to running around and smoke blowing out of the flow and lights flicking all over the place. And we done lost all the fervor and the stuff that really kept us at the feet of Jesus. I'm not saying that's wrong with contemporary, but I'm not saying. Christ set up followers know their weaknesses. Mm. Let me say that again. Christ set up followers know their weaknesses. Acknowledge their dependencies on Christ. Confess their sins and surrender everything they have to Jesus. Christ set up followers. This is what Christ set up followers do. They know their weaknesses. Yeah. Don't claim it. Don't speak it. Don't, that's foolish. Mm. You're not claiming that. You're knowing something. It's, you better know your weaknesses. You come on, somebody. Amen. If you know you got a blood sugar problem, a, a blood sugar problem, you know you can't eat five slices of, of cake and two cookies and tell me, I, 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 I don't know what's going on. I'm not feeling well. Yeah, I can buy four, five slices of what you should be eating. You are not to be feeling well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. But these brothers. Two brothers, Joshua and Caleb, yes, yes. they had the faith yes. to possess yes, yes. what was yes. promised to them. Yes. The Bible wasn't written to us, but it was written for us. Yes. That's why we can we can pull from both the Old and the New Testament, Amen, in its proper context, and pull out the exemplship. Yeah. And we learn from the word of God. The word of God is what uphold us and sustain us. And that's why they was able to possess it. Why? Because they had the faith to possess the promise based on the faith they had. They was empowered to move beyond frustrating circumstances. That power comes from God. Yeah. We have to have the power to move from frustrating circumstances. Yeah. That power comes from God. Your Bible got to be open more than just on Sunday. You're going to be a weak Christian for a long time. Yes. You can't just pull and draw from my strength. Mm -hmm. You can think it's just because you connected to a preacher, you're married to a preacher, your cousin is a, is a deacon, mm -hmm. that that's going to be, that's going to suffice for you. It's mm -hmm. not going to suffice for you. Mm -hmm. They prayers may get you through, but you need a little bit more yes. than just leftovers. Come on, somebody. Even, even in a restaurant, let us stay in a restaurant. They, they, they have three things they try to offer you. The third one, you got to be really careful. The most restaurant, most sit out restaurant, the first thing they, they try to offer you, well, outside, the drink is that's just the preliminary part. Give you something to drink, you parch your thirst, all that good stuff. But the main thing, the first thing they try to offer you is an appetizer. You don't want to be just riding off appetizer. Hey man, somebody, somebody that's praying for him, so glad he prayed for him. That's appetizing. You develop your own prayer life. But then, 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 then sometimes if you're not careful, you done ate too much appetizing and you done order what they call the entree. Now this is the meal. This, this, this is supposed to be the real deal to take you out, to get you full. And sometimes we so fill off the appetizers of life that we can't even partake in the entree that God prepared for us. And then sometimes when that ain't enough, God will provide what we call the dessert. Yeah. You know, that, 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 that right now, that right there should yeah. do it. Yeah. And with some of us, the dessert still don't do it because we, we, we just eat so much, it's just a shame. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, the point is, the main thing is the entree. The dessert, that's just like, this is a, something just to have, something sweet. 
But the main course is the entree, not the appetizer. Now sometimes I make the appetizer in the natural as my entree. But in, in the spirit, no, the appetizer serves just as what it is. But sometimes we so we so caught up in the appetizers in the spirit realm, we so caught up in the appetizers of life that we can't even partake in the entree. But Joshua and Caleb, they had already tasted yes. the appetizers. Yes. They brought back the fruit. Yes. Yes. But they knew the entree was the promised land. <laughs> Don't get fooled on the appetizers. Go into the promised land that God got set up for you. Amen. There's more for you to do. Yeah. God got more for you to do. And sometimes we, our abilities causes us not to be able to be able to take care of other things. Sometimes we, the, the money we're looking for and the things we're looking for from God, God, God is trying to reposition. God wants to reposition. He, he wants to reposition you. And if you just get in position, what you're looking for to deal with the tangible things like what we call bills, God said, I already got something for you. But I'm putting you in that position. I'm putting you in that spot. I'm putting you in that place. Not just to raise you up, but to you to reach out to other people. Yeah. But I need to put you in a certain position to do that. To minister to people, to talk to people, to love people. Because the world is chaotic. Yeah. It ain't going to get no better. I don't know how many people. We can say we should overcome all we want. It still ain't going to get no better. We can hold signs. We can, we can make amendments. We can, we can come on somebody. We can go to boardroom meetings. Come on. We can have all the forms that we want to have. Come on. We can sing in Times Square. We can hold hands. We can march. That stuff is good. But it still ain't going to change the prophecy from fulfilling itself. The Bible say, in a lot of time, men are going to grow worse and worse. Ain't you seeing it? Ooh, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're doing. I'm still watch and pray. Amen. You better be watchful. Huh. Amen, somebody. Right. I was reading the headline. I'm going home on this. I was reading the headline, and, 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 and somebody tried to break into the, the, the house with, with, with a person, family, and, 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 the, and the gentleman ended up getting shot, and everybody was like, well, yeah. Well, that what happened. Mm -hmm. You break into somebody's house unlawfully, what would you think was going to happen? Oh, I, I, I. I ain't need to hurt nobody. How do we know that? What? what, 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 what? No. No, that's what happens. When you, when you, when you, just like breaking the law of gravity, I tell you what, you jump off the top of the church and see what happens. You can hit the crowd. That's when you violate the law of gravity. So in order for us to possess what God has promised us, I don't know what God has promised you individually, but you know. You know what God is speaking to you in your heart. Within yourself, within your abilities, there's more for us to do. There's more for you. Somebody is looking for just for what you got to say, not what I got to say, but what you got to say. Yeah. God has something in you to say to somebody else. Yeah. Don't worry about they receive. That's on them. Just do your part. That's one big old do my part. Dear Heavenly Father, we just say thank you for these your people, the saints of God. Lord, we just say thank you, oh God, that we may continue to grow together in harmony and love. And Lord, we just pray, oh God, that we may continue to grow in our walk with you. Help us to decrease that you may increase. And oh Lord, we pray, oh God, that whatever you have laid up for us, help us not to be uh, scared. Help us not to be uh, timid to move forward, timid to, to move in position. And Lord, help us to be able to move forward. Help us to open up our minds and hearts to the will and the way of you. And Lord, as you bless our endeavors, help us, oh God, to be a light to many, salt to many. Help us to infect many, oh God, with the things you have inundated with us to, to have. And Lord, help us to spread the love, help us to spread the cheer and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Number 6, 22 through 27 says this, the Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee, the Lord make his face to shine upon thee, the Lord be gracious unto thee, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give peace. Go on, peace, my brother, my sister, I love you, but God loves you, Lord, God bless you.